Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to uh, set up a Tomcat in your local Eclipse. So first I have created a fresh workspace here. So in this workspace, so you should see a tab called servers. So we have servers here. So if you don't see servers tab here, go to the window. Show view. Here you will have an option called servers. So click on this. And uh, after clicking this, you will have a, you should see the, if you have already set up the Tomcat, then it will show you, show here, the go to Tomcat server. So if you know, then you can click here to add a new Tomcat. So after opening the pop up like this, so what kind of server you want to go? I want, now I'm currently doing it in a Tomcat. So go to the Apache, go to Apache. Expand it. So we are using Tomcat 8.0 server. So I have installed the Tomcat 8.5 locally. So now we'll be doing the Tomcat 8.5 uh, integrate within integrate with the Eclipse. So this is the Tomcat server. This is the Tomcat server path which we have uh, uh, using. So this is the home home. Uh, uh, this is the home of Tomcat. So we'll be using this Tomcat into uh, Eclipse. So first I'm setting, set, uh, I am uh, uh, installed and uh, set up the Tomcat in Windows machine. And then I have opened the, opened the Eclipse. Now if you go to the browse, uh, if you want you can directly download it from Eclipse uh, or if you can browse it here and choose the, uh, choose the Tomcat here. So here this is a Tomcat. Tomcat. So if you see Tomcat uh, installation directory, so this is Tomcat installation directory where we have it. So I'm using the JRE which uh, I want, which uh, uh, so there's no product currently. Just so yeah, now we have added a server here. If you see that we have servers here. If you see here, we have servers. In the package product is full, we have Tomcat. Here also we have Tomcat. So if you see this and go to right click on the Tomcat, uh, click on start. So make sure that if you, if you are starting the Tomcat from a gift, make sure you are not started the Tomcat from your common counter uh, and you are not started the Tomcat as a service. So if you see the Tomcat has started, it started very quickly. So it was in almost a 3.3 seconds. So the server is up now. Server is up now, it's running in. Uh, so, just I will stop the server now. Stop the server. It stopped. So, now go to the browser and try uh, the default port HTTP. HTTP calling port slash HTTP. Not on. So, there's a no start of server. So if you go to the server, double click on it. So it will open its configuration details. So the ports what we are using here currently is 8080 and the admin port is 808005. So I'm trying on 8080 and it's not working. Now let me start that. Yeah, let me start this and the server is starting now. Yeah, it started. Now if you see and refresh this 404. So why we got a 404 here? If the server is up, but we got a 404, 404 because if you go to the Tomcat configuration, uh, Tomcat configuration, you can see that uh, use the workflow that uh, um, so if you you're seeing that right, so instead of using that. Take and click on use Tomcat installation directory. So if you use the first option, then your server, your project will be deployed, uh, copied into a workspace, but it will be referred to your uh, Tomcat. So if you click this, then uh, uh, so this is this is cut to Tomcat directory where uh, you have installed, and you will be seeing the pretty web apps folder here. So in the workspace, if you open the workspace, this workspace path, uh, workspace path, so uh, click on this. So under the Tomcat directory, you will be seeing the uh, web app folder. So 
under uh, instead of the batch you will be having wt uh, wt uh, same like instead of the batch so if you are using tomcat the batch directly a key will use uh, wt p by batch so this is a folder the way your code will be deployed so to get the path so click on the custom path now if you see this your your server path is here so but i am i am clicking here uh, so i will stop this I'm using the Comcat uh, installation control. Now, if I stop this, start this, uh, save, save. I'm saving it. If you open this uh, folder, now you see if we create a web app folder. When before that, it was not there. So here now all the projects what you are deploying from your Eclipse or running from your Eclipse will be copied here. So now here created a localhost root folder. So same like in the web apps. Same like your web app, it will be having the same under root folder. So now if you see this, uh, you got the Apache Tomcat. Okay. okay. So make sure uh, you are using the right configuration here and uh, running your server, running your application. So if you are running with this application, you should try with your application with the contacts. If you want to run your in your application or deploy, so we have multiple ways. You directly click on the right click on the project. From the project explorer and run as on server or you can select uh, you can select here add or remove program uh, so stop the server first stop, stop the server first uh, go to the uh, yeah it's stop now now add or remove program click on there are no resources added from server okay so as we don't have any project, it's all not showing. So in next video, we will see how to deploy projects in Eclipse using the Java program or something. Like, okay. Thanks for listening.